Yes, thank you very much, brother. So he gave me a ride from the junction, uh, Afringwa Junction, to my school. Um, because of the road network, I don't come to school with my car. So I was sitting there. I was there for like getting to 40 minutes because people were not really coming around to pick a taxi. And then I saw him come and I'm like, hey, hey, stop. I'm going to the same route you're going. Can I join you? He said, yes. And I joined him. And I was telling him, can you teach me how to drive the truck? And I was like, yeah, if you want to. But do I know how to drive a normal car? I was like, yeah, automatic car. And he said, what about manual? Like, not really good with manual, but I'll try. So he said he can give me like four months to learn how to drive that kind of truck. I was like, okay. You know, I'm in school. Good morning. It's a Tuesday. And the chief in my community, Afringwa community, is organizing a festival to uh, commemorate and celebrate he being a chief. He being on a stool for, I think, more than... 15 years so we're gonna go with this with a student especially those in the upper classes and then we'll go and experience you know culture what they are doing over there i think they've already left where are you going look at them what are you going to do at down here the chief's palace what are you going to do there <laughs> okay, you, you are going to enjoy the festival eh, to look at it. And then when you come back, especially from class 6 to JHS 3, you write anything you saw there. for English book. You start writing. I saw this, 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 that. Huh? Let's go. Good morning. Apple all right so this is the upper class they are going to witness what is going on today at the chief's palace and then they are being accompanied by one two teachers one going over there and then there is another one coming here. morning morning appointment this is the kind of teaching that i love you know giving these kids the opportunity to witness things right at the spot where they do things you heard me telling them that when they get back they would have to write whatever they saw now let me keep this one in um every year when school resumes we are in a new academic year right when school resumes uh we try to come up with a plan either to organize a spelling bee or organize an excursion or organize something else but this year let me tell you what we want to do we want to good morning all right some of us teachers so this year what we want to do is to organize a career day yes so a career day is one of the days where um we organize an event where we ask the children to come to school in a different attire that attire will signify the kind of work they want to do in future okay the kind of career they want to uh do in future so somebody want to be a nurse want to be a footballer want to be a truck driver like me you know trying to get truck driving stuff over there or somebody want to be a teacher a policeman a military man or in the navy or a carpenter an electrician uh, whatever kind of work they want to do so we ask them to sew a dress that signifies that career so somebody might come to school in a in ghana in a green uh, outfit with some white thing around them then the, the hand or the neck and maybe a belt or something that signifies a nurse somebody would want to put on a white coat yeah to signify that that person want to be a doctor and then somebody will also sew a military outfit and put it on so that is what we want to do just then we've never done it before so that is what i plan with my stuff to do with this academic year so it might be um this year yes um before december 2023 uh so then we would bring a, a proper military person a police a doctor a nurse a teacher you know what I mean? and a footballer you know we'll bring them um, i'll try to get my network 
working. So I bring them, we set up a canopy with music, with sound, and then we call the children in, the parents, invite anybody, invite you to come and witness it as well. So this is my plan for this year, for my school. Last year we did um, 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 an excursion and you supported. Thank you very much, anybody who supported to send these kids from this rural community we call it the village to the city to enjoy themselves. So yes, I'll be very glad if you put up a comment and let me know echo. I think this is a beautiful idea. Okay, I am a nurse and I want to support three girls who want to be nurses to sew their dress. I always come to you for support because I teach in a rural community. And when we say poverty, I can describe it right here. So when I come here, when I tell them, okay, if you're a military person or ex veteran or whatever, hey, Ekwa, I want to sew maybe four military uniforms for four kids who want to be in the military, then that'll be great because they will love it. So, hey, let's go to the chief's palace and witness what exactly is going to go on today. Peace out. So at the end of the day, I had to come and sit here with one of my teachers. And this is an incoming assemblyman. He wants to be an assemblyman in this community. So he might be coming up with a lot of ideas. Maybe he would, you know, try and support him. His name is Emmanuel Saki. And that is the driver. He's the one that I go with uh, to airport pickups and stuff. And this is how the typical bar, like where we drink, this is how it looks like. 